Air quality is an essential consideration in maintaining the health and comfort of you and your family. Over 40% of indoor air pollution comes from our HVAC system. Even in the cleanest homes, dust, pollen, pet dander, and other household debris flow into ventilation system building up over time. Combined with the moisture produced by the coils, bacteria and other microbial growth can develop and spread through the system, affecting the air you breathe. Let us show our cleaning procedure of a regular residential HVAC system. Today we will be using a combination of both electric negative air machine, as well as gasoline-powered truck-mounted equipment. Most of the air ducts are exposed in the basement and easy to access. However, the top horizontal surfaces accumulate a significant amount of debris, which may be released into the air during the cleaning process. As a result, we have to cover furniture and electronics in the basement for protection. Then, both systems have to be shut off to avoid any cross-contamination. If there are smoke detectors, they have to be switched to test mode. In order to maintain the highest possible level of cleanliness, as well as increase the lifespan of your system, it is recommended by NAPCA that a certified specialist performs an annual inspection and cleaning if needed. The layout of the ductwork in this house is not traditional. Both of the air handling units are located in the basement, side by side, and have a shared air return system. The return is quite large and normally more contaminated, so we're using 7,000 cubic feet per minute gasoline-powered vacuum in order to depressurize it. For cleaning the supply air ducts, we're using a 5,000 cubic feet per minute electric negative air machine with true HAPA filtration. In order to connect the negative air machine, we make an 8 to 10 inch diameter incision into the main line. Then to physically separate the supply and the return systems and protect the actual air handling unit from cross-contamination, inflatable bags or foam blocks might be used. However, a furnace filter placed in a plastic bag works just as well. While the ductwork is under negative pressure, we remove the vent covers and clean each individual vent with a soft nylon brush on a flexible shaft. Then the vent covers are vacuumed and placed back into position. Some air deflectors and return grills are painted over and must be gently cut out with a razor blade. Whipping tools that work of 200 psi compressed air are required to clean rectangular shaped main lines. And for those tools, we make additional 1 inch diameter incisions. Such cuts get covered with specifically designed plastic plugs. After the cleaning procedure, the larger axis for the negative air machine will be patched with the same or heavier gauge galvanized metal plate with a minimum of a 1 inch overlap. The patch should be secured with screws every 4 inch and sealed with either UL 181 duct tape or coal to maintain the original integrity of the system. In order to protect your system from microbial growth and to remove any odors, we recommend routine chemical treatment after every cleaning procedure. We use only EPA-registered chemicals, which can be scented with mint or left unscented. To evenly apply chemicals throughout the entire system, we use an ultra-low volume fog machine as recommended by the manufacturer. Site cleanup and testing of your HVAC system at the end of the procedure is very important. Our goal is not only to provide professional services, but to share important information that has been gained from years of our experience and research. For more information, you may call us or visit our website. When it comes to indoor air quality, it has to be well done.